Hello everyone, I welcome you all to today's session wherein we'll be taking up different questions for uh, discussion. Uh, basically cat level difficulty questions, difficult questions. Okay. So the question that I have for you today is this from the numbers topic, right? You can pause the video, give this question a try. Right? Uh, this I believe could be a uh, soluble question, easy to understand question particularly if you have done the numbers basics. So I give, uh, you can just pause it and then you can listen to the discussion. Let's get started here. So it says uh, find the difference between the number of factors of this number. So I'll just write down this number. Let's call this as n. So but this is not in the prime factorized form currently. Let's do that. Let's write it down in prime factorized form. So 12 is nothing but 2 square into 3, 4 into 3, which is 2 square into 3 whole power 7. It's 2 cube into 3 power 5 into 2 square whole power 7 is 2 power 14, 3 power 7. So 2 cube and 2 power 14 is 2 power 17. 3 power 5 and 3 power 7 is 3 power 12. So n in pr prime factorized form is written as 2 power 17 into 3 power 12. Okay? Because see, whenever we are dealing with any concept from factors, prime factorization is essential. That must be there. Now what is he asking us? Find the difference between the number of factors of this number, which are perfect squares and those which are perfect cubes. So basically we need to find out factors which are perfect squares first. So for perfect squares, the condition is the power should be even. Right? That's the only condition. So let's try to apply that condition here. So 2 power 17, can I not write it down as 2 square whole power 8, right? And 3 power 12, I can write as 3 square whole power 6. And that 1, 2 which is left is written separately. The reason I am writing it separately is this 2 can anyways never form a perfect square. So we can just as well ignore it. This will not be considered in our calculations. So how many perfect square factors can we have? Please look at it from this group. If you take any possibility, for example, if you take 2 square whole power 0 or you take 2 square whole power 1 or you take 2 square whole power 2, whole power 3, whole power 4, whole power 8, any possibility that you take, it's definitely going to be a perfect square because how did we ensure that? By putting in a power 2 inside the bracket. So thus can I say, any factor that you take out of this is going to be a perfect square. How many factors do we have? Or how many possibilities do we have? 8 plus 1. And similarly, any factor or possibility that you take out of this is going to be a perfect square. 6 plus 1. So that means number of factors which are perfect squares are going to be 9 into 7, 63. Okay. So one part of the question is done. Now similarly, we need to calculate perfect cube factors. So let's think about it for perfect cube. The power should be a multiple of 3. So how do I ensure that? Simple. I try to keep 2 power 3 inside the bracket. <coughs> I can have power 5, 2 power 15. 3 cube inside the bracket, I'll have power 4, 3 power 12. Now there is a 2 square separate. And please understand again, similar to the previous, this 2. This 2 square can never form a perfect cube. So we can just ignore that. Now, if you take any factor out of this 2 cube whole power 5, right, whole power 5, it would definitely be a perfect cube, right? I hope you can see that similarly as we saw here for perfect squares. So it's going to be 5 plus 1 possibilities here and 4 plus 1 possibilities here. So it's 6 into 5, 30 factors which are perfect cubes. Now, what was the question? Find the difference between the number of factors of this number which are perfect squares and which are perfect cubes. So perfect square, there are 63 factors. Perfect cube, there are 30 factors. That's my answer. It's going to be 63 minus 30, which is going to be 33. So option choice D is going to be the correct answer. All right. I hope we are clear with this. So with that, we have come to the end of the video today. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, thank you and all the very best.